new book out called Double Down by Mark Halperin and uh, John Heilman. There's been a lot of revelations from it. One is how President Obama's position evolved on gay marriage, which I always find hilarious, uh, and how Joe Biden had a very large role to play in it. Now, you might already know this. Joe Biden came out on Meet the Press on May 4th of 2012 and said that he was in favor of gay marriage. He basically short-circuited the president, who was supposed to say it later, uh, and apparently White House officials were furious with Biden. There was even some talk of having Biden uh, not join the ticket in that race and have Hillary Clinton do it instead. There's always talk like that. I don't really believe that part, uh, that it was at least serious enough to merit consideration by the president. But here are interesting parts of the story. First of all, I love that they say Biden had a non-functioning gaydar. Which is awesome. I think there's a lot of things that Biden has that are non-functioning. Um, so, but he was at an LGBT fundraising event, and you see, I this is already an amazing part of the story. And he sees a family out here in California, in Los Angeles, and a couple with the, that are gay with two kids, right? And he comes out and says, "You know what? Damn it to hell! I think I'm in favor of gay marriage." Isn't that amazing? Like, what you didn't realize was that there was gay couples and they have kids and they're in a perfectly loving relationship. You didn't realize that. I mean, you're vice president. What are you like, 98? How did you not? But they, but like he walks in and he's like, oh wow, oh sick the Lord, you guys are gay. This looks like a normal family. What the hell? Now, it probably didn't hurt that it was a fundraising event, right? So, but nonetheless, they say that was the thing that precipitated uh, him turning around and saying that he's definitely for gay marriage. <laughs> What's funny is that for the Meet the Press, uh, you know, event that day. Apparently, they were so scared of what Biden might say that they prepped him for 12 hours before he went on. So that's an interesting part of what goes on in politics before they go on there, right? But the one thing they forgot to prep him on, gay marriage. So when he was asked about it, he was like, I don't know, man, I was at a gay house the other day. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, I'm in. Gay marriage. <laughs> this was the reaction of uh, David Plouffe, who was campaign manager for... President Obama in 2008 and then a critical role uh, in 2012 as well. He said, quote, what the fuck? We were going to do this in the next two weeks as a fucking surprise. How can this have happened? <laughs> so apparently they weren't upset that Biden had that position. Of course, they're politicians. No, they were upset that he jumped ahead of the president to do it. Now, was the president really going to do it in two weeks? Maybe, maybe not. He, he, took his, he took his sweet ass time evolving on that position. We know that he was going to do it before the election because there was strategy notes on it. We covered this uh, for a long time during the campaign. He was not getting enough money from his traditional donors on Wall Street, so he needed to get more money from uh, gay donors, gay, gay rights donors. Honestly, that's what happened during the campaign. And eventually, 20% of his bundlers or uh, gay rights donors, okay? So that's a huge number. So that's why they were actually going to do it. And so they were pissed that Biden stole their thunder. Uh, meanwhile, they explain, uh, Huffington Post here uh, summarized the book as saying, Obama had wanted to evolve on gay marriage before election day. <laughs> Politicians, man. What's your real position on it? It's irrelevant what his real position is. He's waiting for the right strategic time to evolve on it, right? And so when he came out and gave that interview uh, on ABC, and everybody was like, oh my God, oh, Obama, oh he, oh, he changed his mind, you see that? And it seemed so heartfelt, it was a soft lighting, and you know, and they asked him, and he's like, oh yeah, oh man, you know, I've been thinking about it a while. And, uh, and did they ask about his donations? Did they ask about his bundlers? Did they ask about the polling and how the, even though earlier he had that position, but most of the American people didn't, and then when they did and the polling changed, he all of a sudden evolved on it? God, they're so fake, man. They're so unbelievably fake. And nobody ever tells you the reality. Apparently, uh, another thing that convinced him to evolve on this issue was actually a Republican, Ken Melman, who's a former uh, chairman of the Republican National Committee, who also happens to be gay. And he had written a note to President Obama saying that he thinks, quote, this can be a political winner for you. So right thing or not, well, I don't know, but it's a political winner. And if a Republican says it, then Obama believes it. That's part of why he wanted to evolve on it. 
And, um, and Huffington Post again summarizes by saying, the author is also right in an earlier section of the book that many believe that Obama was in favor of gay, gay marriage all along. And former Press Secretary Robert Gibbs had heard him say so in 2004. So there was no evolving. All of it was total BS. And the mainstream media just ate it up. Like, oh, oh, the president just changed his mind. I can't believe it. Oh, and Biden was so influential. Helped the president go in that direction. Meanwhile, they're furious at Biden behind the scenes because they don't give a damn what Biden actually thinks. They're pissed that, you know, that he stepped in front of them so that Obama can't get all the glory for it. That's how politics works. And then finally, <laughs> at one point, he tells uh, advisor David Pluff, um, about his evolution on this issue, quote, I feel so good about that. Well, you know, I'm really glad you do, man, because it seems like it really came uh, from a good place in your heart. 